All right, so I told you guys once I got 50 followers or so that I would start answering viewer mail. So a couple of the questions I got on my viewer mail was, have you ever deployed before, which is yes. Um, and have I ever been in the trouble in the military before, which is yes, I definitely have. Um, I'm gonna tell you guys a story about my very first deployment and the very first time I ever got in trouble, which happened on the exact same time. So once I got out of basic training, you know, I go to AIT, um, I get stationed my first unit, which is Fort Polk, Louisiana. Um, this is in 1997. So once I show up, they tell me, don't even unpack your stuff, dude. We're, we're going to Bosnia. Matter of fact, some of the guys are already gone. I'm like, awesome. Yeah, where the, where the fuck is Bosnia? I have no clue. Like, I had no idea where the hell that was on the map. So they end up sending me to the range. You know, you got to go qualify on your weapon. I remember they gave me the M249, which I thought was awesome. I'm like, dude, you're going to give me a freaking machine gun. This is going to be sweet. Nobody tells you, like, you're not shooting anything. Like, you're just carrying this heavy-ass weapon. I'm in an aviation unit. Like, I'm not I'm not doing anything special. So, anyway, I, I carry this. I, get, I qualify on it. They send me to Bosnia. You know, I'm in Bosnia learning my job, all this other great stuff. Um, a few months go by, and they end up putting me on guard duty. So... I remember during the briefing on the guard duty, they were telling me like, hey guys, like listen, there's wild animals out here, you know, there's bears, there's panthers, there's all kinds of shit out here that could possibly kill you, so definitely keep your head on a swivel. And I'm like, awesome. Hey, yeah, man. You know, I'm, I'm an 18-year-old kid that's never been out of the United States. Um, awesome. You know, hey, welcome. Time to grow the hell up, right? So, I'm on guard duty, and it's at nighttime, and I remember the NCO asked me like, hey man, you good? I was like, yeah, dude, I got I got my gun, I got bullets. Like, yeah, I yeah, I guess I'm good. No problem, man. He's like, all right, cool, man, let's get it. So they stick me out there, and my job was to rove back and forth from guard tower to guard tower. Now each guard tower is probably about a quarter of a mile apart. And my job literally was to walk to guard tower, hang out for a few minutes, and walk right back and do that all night for like six, seven hours. So that was my job. All right, cool, let's get it. So as I'm doing my roving guard, it gets to about midnight, one o'clock in the morning, um, and I'm walking. Now, when I'm saying I'm walking, I'm walking on some railroad tracks, and on the railroad tracks, to the left of it is the base, to the right of it is literally just rows of concertina wire, like razor wire, about six six high. And then, then it's Bosnia, just the whole damn world of Bosnia out there, all right? So, I remember they were telling me, like, hey, don't turn on your flashlights, you know, people might take a pop shot at you, and I'm like, what? Like, people can shoot at me? Like okay you know shit got real really quick so they're like yeah dude lock and load put your shit on safe let's get it i was like all right so as i'm walking you know i go to the tower as i'm coming back you know it's it's pretty dark out like it's it's you know i can't even see my my hand in front of my face so i got my night vision goggles on and i'm walking and as i'm walking my night vision goggles just go out and i mean they are gone I can't see anything and it was so freaking dark that I, I mean I literally couldn't see my hand in front of my face like it was that damn dark so I was like all right and I couldn't even see the damn guard tower like it was I, I don't even know where the hell I was going I just knew it was in front of me so you know like I said 18 year old kid never really did anything crazy before so I kind of walked a little bit faster trying to like I'm gonna get the hell this guard tower not that I was afraid of the dark but I just didn't want to what I didn't want to hell be out there so as I'm walking, I hear this like growling sound, like a like a like a loud, deep growl, and I'm like, shit, yeah, there's something out here. Like I don't know if it's a damn a bear, a bigfoot. I don't know what the fuck's out here, but I know I don't want to be out here with it. So I start walking a little bit faster, you know, a little bit faster, and then I see it, man, at the end of like the railroad tracks or wherever, just down in the distance. I see these two big ass eyeballs like a owl on crack and these little fuckers were bouncing just kind of coming towards me you know not not fast but they, they were definitely walking towards me and the growl got louder and louder and I don't know if you've ever been so scared where like you're screaming crying like get away from me like screaming I've never been that scared in my life so I'm walking faster and faster and I'm I'm trying not to run you know because i'm on damn railroad tracks i didn't want to fall over so this thing got closer and closer and i see the the tower but in between me and the tower is this whatever the hell it is so i literally scream and i'm throwing rocks at this thing like get away from me 
and it just wasn't it kept getting closer and closer so I kneeled down and I'm thinking to myself I'm like if this thing gets within like 10 feet of me or so I'm I'm gonna shoot this thing like I have a damn machine gun here like what the hell am I doing throwing rocks like I'm gonna shoot this fucking thing but we're on a peacekeeping mission I'm not exactly supposed to be shooting stuff I knew that I knew I'd probably get in trouble but I was so freaking scared like I said I've never been that scared in my life and, and to this day I've never been that scared um, long story short yeah I safe to mow down in a three to five second burst my ass I'm talking like 30 to 50 round burst like just I was just getting it I kind of closed my eyes and kind of you know the old spray and pray just hopefully I hit something just just screaming crying kind of blinking it was all kind of a blur um, next thing I know I'm out of bullets and I'm like fuck all right because I only brought one drum you know 500 rounds with me I, that should be enough to do anything I need to do but I don't see this anymore so as I kind of snap out of it dude every light in the camp was on helicopters are running up helicopters are taking off um, my radio decides it wants to work now and my NCO is just like dude who's out there shooting you know we got you know this that blah 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 and I'm like yeah, dude, I, I done fucked up. Like, I I definitely going to get in trouble on this one. So, now that the light's out there, I walk down there and I see, and it's something on the ground, like black furry something or another. Um, and, yeah, it was a little baby bear cub. And when I say baby bear, I mean fully grown in, like, attack position was probably two and a half, maybe three foot tall. Like, it was just a baby. But I murdered this motherfucker, man. I took it. I took it out. Um, I probably shot it maybe six times out of 500 rounds, but it, it did the trick, and he no longer was trying to get me. Um, so, need to say, I got in a little trouble for that one. Um, remember, my my punishment was to be on more guard duty. Army logic, right there, right. So brilliant. Um, I remember when we got back to the states. Uh, I remember the colonel of my unit. I remember I got told, hey. All this isn't over. By the way, the rest of the time during that deployment, I was I was completely in trouble. Like I was always on any every shit detail, you name it. I was like, yeah, dude, we're gonna like kick you out of the army type shit. So I remember when we got back to Fort Polk. Uh, remember my commander? He's like, hey, the colonel wants to see you. You need to go talk to him about all that stuff that happened over there. And I was like, now this is months later, months and months later. So I'm like, all right. So I go there and I knock on his door and I get there and I see. A little baby bear like in attack position like little arms up like they're ready to get it stuffed bear on the side of this dude's desk and I, I just started like smiling and he's like hey you remember that guy remember that killer and I was like yeah it's probably the probably the bear I killed man and he just started busting out laughing he's like dude we're we're not gonna do anything man like this is all under the rug he's like but I do want to know why you did it and I was like dude I was so damn scared like it was either me or him. It was fight or flight. So I had to do what I had to do. And he's like, that's a great answer, man. He's like, get the hell out of my office. And that was the end of it. Um, so yeah, that was the first time I ever deployed. And that was the first time I ever got in trouble. So yes, I straight murdered a bear in Bosnia. Little fucker had it coming. Um, and yeah, all right, man. Y'all have a good day.